I'm gonna cut that out. It was so fucking stupid. God. Hey guys, Sari here, and I've got another unboxing for you. But first, the new segment called Look How Awesome My Freaking Shirt Is! Japan Pool! Still, depending on which order these videos come out in, uh, a couple videos with this shirt, because I film a bunch in one day. But it's really cool. It's Deadpool and Japan and Japanese writing, and there's the rising sun, and he's on the roof, and it's all in his body! <gasps> so cool. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I've been doing- I've done entirely too many unboxings today. Hey, we are going to finally be doing the December 2016 Legion of Collectors DC Legacy Box. I forgot what it was called, is how long it took to get here. Like, it is January 14th right now. This will probably come out today or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But this literally, I don't know what the holdup was. I don't know why it took so long to get here. But I, I, I was beginning to think it was never coming. It took so long. I've never had any Funko Box take this long to get here. And it's just... It's insanity! Insanity. I wasn't really that excited for this box when they, uh, when they announced it. I'm, I like DC, but old school DC, not so much. I'm much more of a new DC fan. I know, I know. Sorry. Sorry. Of the three Funko boxes, DC is actually my least favorite. Again. Sorry. But, Stab the Christie, fresh off a previous unboxing. Meh. Let's go, let's go! Away from the body! There we go. Alright, alright, alright. Patch and pin, what are you? When will I learn? I need two hands to do this. Box art, it is DC Comics stuff. Pa oh, the pin fell off. Well, that's the patch. I don't give a shit about the patch and the pin. Ooh! Eh. It's a miracle. I didn't rip the back of the patch. But the patch is Green Arrow, old school Green Arrow, and that looks really cool! That is very nice! I like that! And the pin we take out of the thing... Oh, finally, they didn't staple it closed. I hate when they staple this shit closed, I can never fucking rip it out. Eh. It's okay. I liked, I liked the last one better with the Riddler, that was awesome. But here we have Swamp Thing! There we go, yeah, Swamp Thing! Alright, real cool, real nice. Whatever, a patch and pin, no. This is what's on top, yep. And then there's a comic. So here's the inside, here's the comic, and there's the rest of the stuff! We'll take the comic out first, because it's on top. Adventure comic starring Aquaman, and it's number 452. You couldn't even give us a number one. It's Aquaman, apparently uh, fighting Black Manta with eels with mind control things on their heads. I knew nothing about Aquaman. I won't until the new movie comes out. Um, and Black Manta, I literally could not give less of a shit. But those eels are awesome! I love their little mind control devices! Aw, oh, you go, eels! You go. I don't know where I'm telling them to go, but... They should! <laughs> Alright, we have a shirt. We have... Ace the Bat Hound. Ew, why did I look at it before I took it out? Who am I again? <laughs> We have- Oh, an extra small! Yes! I finally got my shit together and changed all the smalls in my Funko packages to extra smalls because the smalls are always so big and I can only wear them as, like, sleep shirts or bumming around shirts. And it sucks because I like them so much. But, yay! Oh, yes, this is a much better size. Yes! Oh, that's so cool! I don't know anything about Ace the Bad Hound, but it's a dog and I love dogs! I know because spoilers of everything, and I can't even blame people because it took me a fucking year to get this box. That the other possible shirt you could get was Crypto, Super Dog, Super Dog, Superman's Dog, and I'm quite happy with this one because I like Batman much more than Superman. Yay! Oh, I'm totally gonna wear the 
this, and I like, I like how they're going with the ringer tees. The Marvel Collective Core box had the ringer tee in last month's, and now DC Legacy, and now Legion of Collectors has the ringer tee. I love ringer tees! And I like this shirt, I like the design, I like how it's all, I like how it's all retro. And faded. Yay! Ace the Bat Hound, yeah! That's his new theme song. Deal with it. Alright. We have our pop. And we have... Whatever this is. Salt and Pepper Shakers. Okay! They're exclusive! Because of course they are. They'll put an exclusive sticker on anything. And we'll be not happy with it. Because I'm not really... Uh -uh. But here we go. Pop, Salt, and Pepper Shakers. Batman and Robin! And they look like the Pops. Which one's the Salt Shaker? Okay, Batman's the... Uh, good. I was like... I was like, Robin's the Salt Shaker? No. Here we go. Collect the entire line of Batman Funko Pop housewares. I will not! I will not be doing that. The only Funko Pop housewares I will have is the stuff you guys send me in these boxes. I really don't care otherwise. Sorry. Alright, is there anything else in here that is not the pop? Nope, just the pop. And I know what the pop is. I've even seen someone do a custom of this pop already. That's how long it took me to get this box. And it's Plastic Man, who I know nothing about. I I have no idea who this is. It's an awesome looking pop, though. A truly awesome looking. I love the design of this. I don't know what he's supposed to look like, but he looks sweet as hell. Ooh! Well, that's cool! Apparently that's what he's supposed to look like. <laughs> that is really cool. Then we have him on the side. I mean, let's get him out of the box. I'm curious. I don't know why, but he's a lot lighter than I thought he would be. Here we have Plastic Man. This is so cool. I love his body. I love the... I just... I love the mold. It's so cool. I don't turn them that way. I turn... I love his shades. I love his arm. Like, that is so cool. I love how this mold is different from anything they've done before. Like, you can see me through his freaking body. Hi! <laughs> Look at his butt. Ha. Butt. And this is just really cool. His hair. He's a little schmoop in the front. And his hair is really cool. I really like him. Like, I could not possibly know less about this character. I'm guessing he's fucking plasticky. <laughs> now he's really plastic, man. <laughs> I'm hilarious. But I I like his outfit. Like he's fabulous. I feel like we need to put a I feel like he needs a microphone in his hand. He'd be an awesome front man. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. I like him a lot. I'm not gonna keep him because I don't like I don't care about the character and I just hit 300 pops plus, so I don't have room for things I don't really care about anymore. But he is really, really cool. That's an awesome pop. I like I like how innovative Funko's getting with these. Like that the arm, how do they even like mass produce these? That is so cool. I love the arm, I love the body. I just I really, really like this pop. Still back in the box. Alright, is that it? The box is empty. And, first off, March's box is going to be Superman-themed, which I'm guessing a lot of people think is going to be a nice change from all of the Batman, all of the time. With DC, I'm mainly a Batman fan, so I like it, but uh, Superman's chill. Superman's chill. Superman's cool. I, I, can, I can enjoy some Superman. Especially with Henry Cavill playing Superman. <laughs> but let's take a look at this card. There is a whole bunch of stuff on here. Yay! Alright, alright! 
Yeah, I could have either gotten Ace the Bat Hound or Crypto the Super Dog. I am so happy I got Ace the Bat Hound. One, because I like Batman better than Superman. And two, the, the Crypto shirt is blue. And this one's gray. And I like gray shirts better than blue shirts. Um, Aquaman is a founding member of the Justice League. Cool! We were first introduced to Oliver Queen as Green Arrow in More Fun Comics number 73 in 1941. Holy shit, that's old. Concepts for the Salt Shakers look cool and everything. Blah, 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 blah. All right, it looks like the original concept of Plastic Man was different than what they ended up going with. And I have to say, I think they made a good choice. That concept is not that great. And <laughs> I was reading this, I found a little, little Funko fib. Looks like they made this card maybe before they made the uh, Marvel Collector Core X-Men one. It says, this is the first time a Ringer shirt has been included in any Funko subscription box. No. No, it was not. <laughs> Let us know if you like this style or prefer a traditional t-shirt. What do you guys think? Do you like the ringer shirts or do you prefer a more traditional regular t-shirt like such as the one I am wearing? I like the ringer shirts, personally. I would much prefer to continue getting ringer shirts in these Funko boxes. I We get regular t-shirts from everywhere else. I, I think getting the ringer tees in the Funko boxes would be... A great thing and to just continue to set them apart from the rest of the boxes but yeah that is it for the oh is it January did I say December before I think I said December earlier my bad this is the January 2017 DC legacy box so that will be it for this <sighs> Go ahead, leave a like, because I like likes and they make me happy. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this box. What do you think of the characters they chose for the DC Legacy box? Uh, I know they advertised the pop as a character they had never made before, and they went with Plastic Man. Um, I know Funko did a survey asking, like, giving people choices and asking what characters out of the ones listed people would like to see in the box. And I forget what I voted for. It wasn't Plastic Man. I think I voted for Mr. Freeze. I voted for Mr. Freeze. That's what I voted for. What do you guys think about the inclusion of Plastic Man? And was there another DC legacy hero you were hoping to see in this box? Go ahead and subscribe. I do this kind of thing a lot. Unboxings are very much my thing. I will see you soon for another such unboxing. Bye.